Okay. Probably just going to end with one question for him. So I guess with the community gardening and everything building up, do you think community gardening brings back to the whole idea that it takes a village to raise a child type of sense of, of things because people are coming together and so you see multiple people coming together with that child so they're feeling more involved in that child's life? Uh, that's a very great question. I was actually uh, I was uh, thinking about that a while back, and uh, I agree uh, absolutely that it really takes a very, I mean, it takes a village, it takes a whole community to bring up a community garden. And in the context of the growing local agriculture movement, it also takes a, a community to grow a farm. I mean, nowadays it's it's not a um, you know one person gets the job done sort of thing. We've got to take a whole team of. Uh, the people from the entire neighborhood with a variety of different skills, of different knowledge, uh, different things that they can offer to the table to get the job done. And um, now without that, the whole thing fails. So absolutely, that would take a whole village. Progressive poetry, 
and trying to make sure you're getting your point across to the audience. And most of the poets that I meet, they're always always trying to get that. Like, how we, how the audience is going to feel when we say this? How they going to? With science, you know, if you're in a room, windowless, normally in front of a computer that doesn't talk back to you, and you're punching different numbers, but you are gaining new knowledge. And trying to get that knowledge out to other people can be so important because raising the base knowledge of what you have is groundbreaking. And to put it in context, um, solar energy, 90, 1992, it was all over the media. And now people think it's like a failed, thing, failed um, alternative source of energy. And actually right now, the biggest people who are in solar energy isn't really America. It's pretty much the Dan Danish people, Denmark, and with wind and solar. Now, we have spent a lot of capital, venture capital into solar energy, but there's a 15 year gap between it becoming something big again, where all this knowledge got up, but people still use their rhetoric of 1992 to say, well, it's not gonna work, it's a very slow process. Well, 15 years of research changes so much of what it was then to what it is now. And to get that point across became so much more difficult because someone said it before with a negative connotation and someone said it back. 